Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about angelic intelligences or angelic beings. This is a really vast topic and I love, I love kind of tuning into the possibilities that are beyond all that. When you think about an angel, you know, you think about some Archangel Gabriel appearing in the Bible to the Virgin Mary and coming and delivering a message. And then this angel appears again here and there. Some saints have been seeing angels. And so in the history of humankind, we always think like angels appearing here and there. And sometimes you want to find a parking spot and you ask your, your personal angel to find you a parking spot. And uh, so, you know, when you look at, at the way we conceive angels right now, like a little cupid coming and throwing an arrow in your heart and then you fall in love. It's like it's extremely romanticized and it's extremely simplified. The way I look at angelic intelligences or angelic forces is like that. And maybe you can adopt some, some of these ideas. Maybe these are things that you feel as well. So angelic intelligences have been permeating humankind and the planet since the beginning of times. Right now, as I'm speaking, you have millions or billions of angelic intelligences and forces working through the planet and humankind and sustaining absolutely everything that we do. The camera that is recording this video right now is supported and sustained by angelic forces, angelic powers. All the flowers, all the nature, all the animals, all the brain waves, absolutely everything in my body is being sustained or sponsored by an angelic intelligence or an angelic force. The cities, culture, civilization, everything, all aspects of human, uh, of human activity. So that's the way I look at it. There is not one aspect of our life that doesn't have a channel of energy linking us with the absolute source, the nirvana, the source of where we come from, and using these angelic transmitters or messengers to download and transmit this energy to us. So that's a concept that suddenly expands. Instead of being a romantic relationship with one personified being, it's like, no, it's everywhere. It's permeating everything. Here is an example. For instance, when I arrive in New York, right? I arrive in New York, I start jogging through the streets of New York, and then I use the mantra, and the, the mantra goes like that. Gratitudinissa, New York. Thank you to the spirit of New York. So what I'm doing when I'm, when I'm saying these words is like I'm invoking the spirit of, of New York, the spirit of that city. And what happens is that I have the feeling that I'm synchronizing, synergizing with the invisible field of intelligence and energy which is present in that city. The same, I arrive in Bali, is like, Gracia Balia, Jaya Balia, I activating and invoking the, the power of the island and the invisible intelligence which is supporting and sponsoring the evolution of this planet. When I go back to Switzerland, it's Helvetica. Gracia Helvetica, so it's connecting with the goddess-like energy which is supporting uh, the evolution of, of, that, um, of, that, um, yeah, of that country. And the same for the planet and the same for absolutely all aspects of, of what we are engaging into. So keep that in mind and start expanding maybe the idea of, or the possibility that angelic forces go way, way beyond anything that we have been conceiving before. And yes, my belief is that their activity reaches way beyond the planet Earth, that they permeate this galaxy and this universe, and that, you know, their powers go way beyond anything that we can conceive. I'll come back soon with more ideas on this topic. That's all for now.